Hi, and welcome to Click Fix. This video will demonstrate how to restore the ClickSense repository database, or QRS, from a backup. First, verify that only the ClickSense repository database service is running on the machine. The existing database will need to be removed prior to restoring the QRS backup. This can be done using pgadmin, a standard database utility. Open up pgadmin, create a connection to the server machine hosting the ClickSense repository database, port 4432, Postgres user and password. Here you can see all the tables where ClickSense stores data in the current database that will be dropped. In pgadmin, you could do this with the delete drop option. I'll be using these commands copied from the Click Help site. Open a command prompt with administrator privileges from the PostgreSQL 9.6 bin folder. Copy and paste in the command, connecting locally on port 4432 with the Postgres user defined while installing, and dropping the current QSR database. No other tasks should be running in parallel, so I'll disconnect pgadmin. Enter the password, and back to pgadmin to verify that the database has been removed. You can see that QSR is gone. Now copy the database command from the documentation. The template zero will create a basic schema, but there will be no tables. Copy, paste, and run the command. Done. Back to pgadmin to illustrate. The QSR has been created with a public schema, but with no tables. Now we're finally to the step of restoring from the backup. This can be done in pgadmin via the restore command. Point to the backup tarball and hit restore. But again, this is a demo of the manual method. Copy the restore command. You can see a variable here to the path of the backup file. Copying everything up to that point, navigate to the QSR backup on an accessible shared drive folder, copy the backup file locally. This folder has been created on the local C drive called QSR backup. An easy way to get the file path is to press shift and right click, then select copy as path. Paste it at the end of the command, I recommend adding a dash V to the command line so that you can actually see some more verbosity to what is happening. Again, close any task or any open connections to the database. Enter the password. And there it goes. To verify that the data is actually there, back to pgadmin one more time. In the QSR database under Tables, now there is all the content. The QSR has been fully restored. I hope this helped. If you'd like more information, search for answers using the Unified Search tool on the Support Portal. It searches across the Support Knowledge Base, Click Community, Click Help Site, and Click YouTube channels. Take advantage of the expertise of peers, product experts, and technical support engineers by asking a question in a Click product forum on Click Community. And don't forget to subscribe to the Support Updates blog. Thanks for watching. Nailed it.